In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very important slide where you can use this slide for a water conservation or water flow or water scarcity around the world or for some other purposes. So you can see here, I have created one slide, one tab. And when I click, the water flows from the tab and yeah, the drops comes and, and display here. So when I click again, it will tell me that 5% for this particular and then you can say the 25%, 60% or 85% or like this. And you can put your heading there and just for to look more uh, uh, like a water slide, I have just put some more water at the bottom. And uh, another slide I have made with without any uh, background effect. So again, this also works same. When I click, the water comes and then the percentages will appear. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides and go to insert. I'm going to insert a oval shape. For that, go to shapes, select the oval shape and hold the shift key while you're making the, the oval shape. You get a perfect shape then just go align center and align middle and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to make a water drop for that right mouse click go to edit points and you can see here there, there are four points the top point i'm just going to increase it and then you can see here there are two white shapes, the square shapes. I'm just going to make it something like this. So you got this shape and the shape on the right side, I'm going to cut it. To cut, go to insert shapes, select a rectangle and draw it where you want to cut it. So I'll just draw, draw this one and I will select this and the rectangle under format merge shape say subtract you got this right mouse click or just click select this one press ctrl d to duplicate it and go to rotate and just say flip horizontal and just put it so you got a perfect water drop i'm going to select both of these again go to format merge shape make it union so you have got a a water drop shape the next step is I'm going to draw the tap I'll just keep this aside then to draw the tap go to insert shape select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline then I'm going to insert again shapes I'm going to select uh, this one which is the L shape just draw the L shape and you can rotate it I can rotate maybe flip vertical and then I will just say flip horizontal and using that orange using orange point you can just make the perfect shape align with the rectangle and if you want to increase the width also you can just increase it and this shape outline again make it no outline now you can see here uh, this is one kind of a straight i just need a curve for that go to insert shapes select a rounded corner rectangle let me just give some different color shape outline make it no outline and i want to cut this much from this rectangle so I'm going to select the blue rectangle and the orange rounded corner rectangle under merge shape I can just say intersect so you got this shape here now let me add some more shape to make a tap for that go to insert shapes select a rounded corner rectangle I'm just going to draw it and put it here again shape outline make it no outline 
let me just select all these and I'm going to change the color to somewhat gray and then again I'm going to insert shape let me just select the trapezoid I will just draw the trapezoid give the same color no outline and put it exactly in the center one more rectangle I'm going to draw in the center same color no outline and then I can draw us again one more rectangle or if you want you can go for trapezoid also let me just go with the rectangle same color shape outline no outline and I'm just going to add one oval shape on top a small oval shape again same no outline so you can see here almost our tab design is ready if I want I can add one more trapezoid here same color shape outline make it no outline rotate it rotate 90 degrees and put it here and one more small rectangle rounded corners make it fully curved reduce the size change the color no outline and put it here so you can see our tab design is ready now I'm going to highlight all these shapes so I'll just highlight it and go to format merge shape just say union so it becomes one shape now and if you want you can just reduce the size of the tab and put it here now I want to show some water flowing through this tab so what I'm going to do is I'm just selecting this press ctrl D to duplicate it I'll bring it here give some lighter color so that you can understand better then insert shape this shape also which is the curve so better to go for curve see this one the water comes like this and just click here shape outline make it no outline so I'm going to select this shape and then this one merge shape you can come and just say intersect and give the color of the water which is blue and just put it here so you can see here that means the water is flowing through the tap I can just cut this part go to insert shapes cut this part that's it so the water flows through this one and then I'm just going to bring this uh, water drop here now I want to break this uh, water drop into four pieces for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and give some different color so I want this is one so this one let me just increase the size this is two control D again this is three and bottom is four so I'm going to select this water drop and then this rectangles go to format merge shape just say fragment and just delete this unwanted lines so you can see here I have got four different shapes of this one four pieces 
and I'm going to color with different so I'll start with this color then I'm going to start with some this color then I will select this and lastly I will select the gray color let me just group this one two three and four Control G to group it and then you can insert some text here I'll just some percentage I'm going to put maybe this is 15 percent center align make it bold I'm going to change the font to century gothic and bring it here I'll make this maybe a white font press ctrl D I'll bring here and I will just say it's 30 percent and I'm going to increase the font size and if you want you can keep black also ctrl D this will be I'll just say like 75 percent again I'm going to increase the size and the last one I will select this and I will just save maybe 90 percent then for each of this uh, uh, color I'm going to give some text for that go to insert shapes select a line which is till here control D this is for the second make the size same here again control D you hold the shift key to get the perfect straight line and this is the last one and then you can type your text here So any text which you like to change you can just change it press ctrl D to make duplicate so so this is the the tab the water drop then the percentage and the text and if you want you can make a big headline here I'm going to give the same font century gothic center align and you can give with the watercolor so we have done almost all the animation now it's time to sorry not the animation the design it's time to do the animation so let me just give the animation to this uh, particular water drop I will just go to animations enable the animation pane let me just disable the guides because it's distracting me then I'm going to use two animations first I'm going to add animation I'll go to more entrance effect I'll say stretch stretch I will say from top it comes like this and then I'm going to select this again I'm going to add animation where I will just say a zoom effect zoom I will say with previous and when I play you can see here it looks like the the water is coming from the tap now I'm going to select this water inside the tap and I'm going to add the animation which is a wipe animation and it should happen from left double click the animation and if you want you can make it timing very fast or fast or whatever effect and uh, and then if you want you can hide the animation so first let's add the animation and bring it on top and this one it should happen after previous so if I just play So this should happen after previous 
let me just play again if you see here the water comes and then the water drops comes out from the tap but i want this animation one more time this animation should go for that add animation i'll go to more exit effects and i will say the same which is the wipe and this should happen with previous okay this should happen again from left so let me just say with previous how it works when i click it comes and then that's it so perfect animation now let me just add the animation for this uh, the percentage i'm going to select the percentage first and i will just add animation more entrance effect i will just say stretch stretch again it should come from top and then i'm going to do for the line the line also i'm going to give the same animation more entrance effect again i will say stretch stretch this is from left and then this one i'm going to give a fly in fly in this should happen from right so once this is done i'll on click no issues this one should happen after previous and this should happen with previous so if i play then you can see it's happening so now it's easy for me i'll just select this animation painter click on this then i'll select this animation painter click on this and then again this so i'll just do for the remaining i'll do for this again i'm going to select this and the last one and that's it so let's play the, all the animation you can see here uh, the slide is completed that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.